Okay, today we're going to do a review on this Vortex PST. It's 4x16x50 by by objective. It comes in a real nice box. It's uh, very, very well packaged. These are some of the stuff it comes with. It comes with some lens covers. It comes with a hat pin. A battery for your illuminated reticle. Your shims for your, um, your stops for your torch stops. Instruction manual. Sunshade. This this scope has a lot of really really nice features on it, and that's what we're going to discuss today. Starting with the eyepiece, the scope has a reticle focus. The reticle focus is designed to quickly and easily adjust the focus on the reticle. Next, we move over to the power. The power is adjustable from four to sixteen. On one side is a power magnification. On the other side is a dual number marking system. The 1, 2, 3, and 4 marking on the back side of the magnification can be used in conjunction with the reticle to help calculate distance and holdovers. Viper PST. Four 16 by 50 objective. This is a second focal plane. It does come with an EBR1 MRAD reticle. The reticle has numbered mills to help you from getting lost. The reticle is illuminated with a 10 power setting. Setting 8, 9, and 10 will be visible in the daytime depending on the background color. Setting below 8 are for low light use when users eyes have become adapted to a low light levels. The lowest settings are intended for use with night vision devices. It has a real nice deep neural right on top of the elevation knob so it's a positive grip even if you're wearing gloves the radius bar is marked so you can clearly see how many rotations up or down you've gone this is marked in MREDs so you can clearly see the difference here in between MRED and quarter MOAs next we're going to talk about the side focus, also known as a parallax. This is adjusted from 50 to infinity. And this is to make your reticle very, very clear against your target. Okay, we're here at the 100 yard range. We're doing the, the tracking test for the Viper, Vortex Viper PST. It's 4 by 16 by 50 objective. It does come with the MRADs. We shot a three round group at the dot. And then we went two MRADs up, shot two rounds, went two MRADs to the right, shot two rounds, then came four MRADs to the left, shot two rounds, then back to the right, 
and back down to center. So afterwards we zeroed our, our turds and shot two more rounds. I myself think that the scope did its job, it tracked the way it was supposed to. Um, overall we're very happy with the scope. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and try to shoot some more test groups at the longer ranges and see what kind of scope, what kind of tracking the scope does at the longer ranges.